big radio show today, so please tune in. I need to get my fingers up. But I'm not in hospital. Well, download the hospital radio app. It'll only take two seconds, I promise. I need to show my radio bosses I'm still relevant. I might just do that. I love an app. And a true crime podcast. Hey, you could do one about... Yeah, I'm not a big one for the limelight. No, 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 no. You know, I'm, I'm surprised you're uh, prepared to defend Yasmin in court. I mean, very good of you, old Jeffster. Between thee, me and the gatepost, I'm hoping it won't get to court. You know, I love her. Call me old-fashioned. Alia clearly thinks I'm the devil incarnate, but I need to protect my darling Yaz. She's been through so much. Mm. Hey, what about, um... Sally, take to the stand. <laughs> Drama! <laughs> Too well. Nothing. Brian? I thought you knew. I, I just heard talk. Well, clearly I didn't. What's happened now? Sally's been asked to be a defence witness. What? Cathy told me. I see. So it's all systems go, isn't it, eh? Is she gonna do it? Isn't that a turn up for the books? All right. You know, your mum, whatever she's done, she don't need punishing for it. Sorry, who are you? Are you my life coach? <laughs> Apparently, Tim tried to stop her, but. But what? Apparently her mind's made up. Right. Just what I need. The whole world's gonna think I deserved it. My own daughter-in-law is ready to throw me under a Weatherfield Wayfarer. Okay. Well, all I can see is, thank the Lord I've got my radio show today. Why? That's for me to know and you to find out. I've got that woman visiting me today. That woman? The one from the women's charity. No doubt she wants to make me her new mission. A cause celebre. Why would you agree to meet someone you don't even know? It's, it's just that... <sighs> Jeff's admitted, finally, that he might need some help addressing his behaviour. That's good. I should be elated. This is one of the few times that he's actually admitted treating me badly. So, I suppose I don't need any charities getting involved in my life. I'm gonna tell Elaine that. Yes, I will, that is what I will do. Thank you, but no thank you. Jean played you, that's a funny name. You know, he told me, he told me that the reason he controlled me so much, was, was, well, it, it's, it's because he was scared of losing me. And I suppose there's some strange sort of logic in that, given how badly he was treated by his ex-wife. He needs help. And I, I reckon I knew that already. Anyway, Alia says that isn't love, and I was beginning to believe her. But why else would he want to drop the charges? <coughs> Am I making any sense? Well, these large print books, every. If your sight's gonna go, you need muscles. <laughs> he sounded so sad on the phone. Maybe, just... Just maybe he's sorry. What do you think? Me? Look, you know in your heart of hearts whether you believe him or not. Why don't you ask that woman from the charity? Maybe she'll know. Maybe it's just a case of classic abusive behaviour. Well, it could be. Well, it's just a man struggling to cope. Hey, there we go. You can't put two arms in one sleeve, can you? That's not a very good Oh, look. is he a silly Billy? Is Adam funny? Maybe I should take up stand-up comedy. What do you think? Yeah, he reminds me a bit of a young Billy Connolly. 
<laughs> no, I'm sorry about yesterday. At the end of the day, I just want us to move past all the talk of Gary and concentrate on our little family. Then we'll do that, I promise. Yeah, I want us to work. We will. No more talk of the ginger ninja, yeah? No, OK. All right. Come on, then, mister. You're going to say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. 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 Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Good luck with Carla. Oh, thank you. Yes, my first full day, and I can't wait. Oh, I didn't even ask you what about you. Have you got, like, a busy day or no? Nothing special. Good luck. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See ya. a bit emoji. <laughs> I think mean emotion. Do I? Mm. Oh, turn that frown upside down. Well, I'm trying to. I'm not setting off into space on some dangerous mission. I'm moving over the road with your ex. You'll see me again. In fact, you'll be sick of the sight of me. This isn't all because of what's been happening with Jeff, is it? Because I know it is all we've talked about recently. Well, I know none of that's easy. But oh, don't let all this stuff with Jeff tear you and Tim apart. That is why you're going, isn't it? Look, this is all good. Things are... Oh, things are going really well with my ex. With Kevin, yeah. And you and Tim, well... Well, you've made me feel like family. And no one's ever made me feel like that before, not even my own family. I never knew what the word welcome meant till I met you, and I will never forget that. But, you know, now it's time for the next step. And you're not going to mess it up this time, are you? Correct. I am not. I am a new person. Did that sound convincing? <laughs> no. <laughs> as far as I know, the trial's still going ahead. Well, Jeff's going to have to stand in the witness box and tell all. Well, at least he hasn't said he won't. I wish we could conjure someone up who'd back Gran up. Ah, there you are. Well, look, all's not lost. Uh, Jeff might turn around and say that Yasmin never meant to hurt him. What? I know, it's so confusing. I hate all this. I just want my gran home. But if she gets home under his say-so, she'll just end up right back under his spell again. He who can do no wrong. <sighs> Going to the loo. Right, quick, change the subject while she's gone. Look, I know I'm going to sound like a broken record, but Leanne has given us her approval. Yeah, I know. Obviously, she thinks we're going to be great foster parents. So why don't you send Karen an email and tell her that we're... Look, do you mind if we don't do this right now? Hey, is that uh, safe as houses? A safety deposit place? Yeah, I've uh, recently moved house, uh, but I've not received any invoices recently. I just want to make sure you guys have my details correct. Yeah, the name is Gary Windas. Ah, uh, it's uh, the 19th of the 3rd, 1986. Yeah, my address is 5 Victoria Court, Victoria Street, Weatherfield. OK, so all my details are correct. Gary Windas, box 379. Fantastic, thank you. Cheers. Good to be back, guys. It's good to be back. And can I just take this opportunity to thank you all for your wonderful messages and letters and emails and texts and goodness knows what else, wishing me every best wish with my recent news. Little old me, inoffensive, hard to rile, world's best listener, Jeff. Caught up in all that nightmare, eh? Well, it's epic, really, when you think about it. Still, you've all been so, so kind. I'm not worthy. I am not worthy. When I set foot in this hospital and I and I sniff up, what do I smell? No. Well, no, I, I do smell, yes, I do smell the... The burgers at the fast food concession. A big shout out to Mohammed and Omar who always give me extra mayo. <laughs> Hi guys, big up for Weatherfield Massive. <laughs>
No, I don't just smell that. I smell... love. Pure, sticky, stinking, unadulterated love. How could anyone do anything so nasty to Jolly Jeff, the Jeffster, the Jeffmeister? Well, settle back, get comfy. I can explain everything. Because it's time to set the record straight. Is that a pistol you see in my pocket? Well, yes, missus, it is. It's a pistol of truth, and I'm about to shoot from the hip. But first, it's Lindsay DePaul and No Honestly. Three eighty, please. Right. What's this you're listening to? Dyer. Uh, yeah, uh, it's Jeff's show from the uh, hospital radio. Thank First you one back since. Hold on, sorry. What a talent! Gone too soon. And thank you, listeners, for asking. Her. Yeah, I'm okay, ish. Well, no, come on, let's be honest. I'm not, not by a long stretch. But I will be when I'm reunited with my darling wife, Yazzy Gumdrops. Such a People piece of work. Mistakes. Which of us hasn't? As the Bible says, let he who is without sin cast the first stone. Well, I'll be casting no stones round here. If you love someone, you forgive them. <sighs> Brass necklace. But now, taking us up to Cheryl and her <sighs> weekly slot about hospital hygiene, it's Rod Stewart, and first cut is the deepest. Is he trying to make amends? I mean, I, I don't understand. No, no, it's all part of his Mr. Nice Guy act. When, in fact, he's a freak. Well, well what, what are you trying to say here? I mean, she stabbed him, but he's the bad guy? Yeah, Yasmin wouldn't do something like that. Not unless she was really pushed to it. One hot chocolate, please. Come on. Thanks. You all right? Yeah. What do you want to try telling your face that? Sorry, I just didn't get any sleep last night. How come? Um, my mum came home, three o'clock in the morning, proper drunk. Started playing steps really loud. And I hate steps. Yeah, me too. I mean, she got no taste today. I just wish I would have stayed at Billy and Paul's, because they would have remembered it was my birthday today. Guessing your mum didn't know. Nope. I'm just gutted I didn't hear anything off my dad. Thank you. Where'd you get that? Hey, Kelly. Where'd you get it? It's nothing. But well, you always fight with your mum, yeah? If she said I drink. It's not good, though, is it? Yeah, I'm not thick. Thank you. Thanks. Happy birthday to me. Yeah. Get yourself something nice with that. All right? And happy birthday. You're grooming me. <laughs> it's like you got a guilty conscience. About what? No, I know you haven't. It's my mum that clocked me one. Not you. We'll get this. Hello? Yeah, who's this? You are? No, I haven't called you. I didn't call you. What am I supposed to have said? Yeah, no, hang on, hang on. And you are calling from safe as houses, yeah? There you go. Ta. Not much to show for a woman my age, eh? Ah, oh, don't be daft. A nun could move in and she'd have more stuff. It's just possessions. This is your own now. Anyway. Jack's give away a load of his toys to a charity shop so you've got space under the stairs. Oh, bless him. I don't deserve you guys. No, we don't deserve you. <sighs> Shall I cook some of it? 
You know, she'll cook something fancy. Well, almost fancy, you know, to celebrate me moving in. Yeah, well, that sounds well good. I'm not quite Nigella Lawson, but you've got some more calam, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, I'll cook pasta or something. Does Jack like pasta? Oh, Jack loves pasta. Then pasta it is. Everything all right, Sally? Yeah, just making the most of five minutes peace without anyone mentioning Jeff or Yasmin. Bliss. <sighs> hey, I had uh, Tim's dad on an app earlier. Oh, Brian. Uh, it's hospital radio show, you know. Haven't those patients suffered enough? Well, it's odd, isn't it, him mouthing off at such a sensitive time? Was he? Well, he was discussing the notion of forgiveness. Mm. What's he up to now? Well, he did sound sincere. Mm. Fancies himself as a bit of a priest, does he? He's going to try and find it in his heart of hearts to forgive Yasmin. Well, that's very big of him. Sally. Mm. I may have let slip to Jeff that you're testifying against him. Brian, you didn't. I, I thought you already knew. Oh, stuff him. You've saved me a job. Anyway, he'll get what's coming to him. Are you sure you don't mind? <laughs> Quit while you're behind, Brian. Oh. Brian. There's no one serving. Let's drop the joint. Evelyn's in the back. You don't say. Spoil spot. Never had you down as a chef. You know, I like to uh, give it a go, you know, uh, jazz up a pot noodle with some chorizo, that kind of thing. And what are you spoiling them with tonight? Pesto and pasta. Lucky old Kev. And tuna chunks. Well, you can't have too much of a good thing, you know. All right. You heard about your mum's dinner tonight? I'll fight you for an invite. Well, I, I don't know anything about it. Well, you do so... now. I've, I've moved in with Kevin, so... Fancy coming around for your tea tonight? Me, you, Jack and Kevin. Might be quite nice for us all to sit down together. I'm cooking. Well, those last two words kind of ruined it. Well, you'll always be part of my family, Seb. Wherever the wind blows us. The wind? Well, you know what I mean. What about the twins? Must have been a pretty big ghost. Yeah, well, that's different. They need to be away from me. It's for the best. You, you know, maybe... One day they'll understand and forgive me. They're going to have such an amazing life. In Australia. Well, there'll be a place set for you tonight at the table anyway, so... It's up to you. I'd love you there. You're rapid becoming my number one client. Best not be angling for a discount. Oh, I'll pay you the full whack. Don't worry about that. It was a joke, Daniel. I know you don't take the mick. Blimey, compared to some of the blokes you have to see, you're the perfect man. See? It takes less muscles to do that than it does to frown. So, more of the same? Yeah, please. Let's be having you then. Kelly. You've been phoning people pretending you're me. Do I sound like a bloke? No, fair point. I'll ask you again, have you seen my daughter? What, your punch bag you made? You what? 
I can't remember because you took off your face. Oh, sorry, I thought this was a junk shop, not the fun police. What, it's fun bruising your own kid, is it? Making it look like an ad campaign for the NSPCC. You don't know what it's like bringing up a kid on your own. No, we had an agreement, Laura. Rick's going to be fuming when I tell him. We'll do it then. Go on, ring him, because I've got a few choice things I want to say to him and all. She's from Women in Prison Charity. I've caused quite a stir. I don't know why. Is that her? I'm Elaine, oh, from uh, the Women in Prison Charity. Uh, Yasmin, I need to be honest here. I'm nothing to do with any charity. I just said that to give me more of a chance of you saying yes to seeing me. I don't understand. So who are you then? <sighs> right, there's a five there, nice one. And what are you waiting for? If you've got Rick on speed dial, like you say, we'll have to do your worst. Come on, lad. Time's money. No, you don't tell me what to do. Oh, you are in each other's pockets. Should we even send like No, it? don't, don't do that. Don't start putting this on him, all right? Now, you start doing right by Kelly or it's not Rick you've got to worry about. Why, what are you going to do to me? You really want to find out? Hey. You don't scare me, Gary. Hmm. You know what? I'm sick of looking at you. I've actually turned into him. Last chance, Laura. Don't screw it up. Now, get out. Come on. I'm taking a huge risk by being here. But I need to speak to you about your husband. Why? There are things you need to know. Like what? I used to be you. I'm sorry. I know exactly what you've been through. Nobody knows what I've been through. I was abused by Jeff, too. For years. And if you've been affected by issues raised in tonight's episode, you can go to itv.com slash advice for support information.